finding your way around Apex. Now that you've learned to create some pages, let's view some of the key navigation techniques around the Apex environment. Familiarity with this environment will help you become a more effective developer. I pointed out before the developer toolbar down the bottom. This allows us quick access to edit the page or the application. And we have some other options that we'll look at later on in the course, such as the session state details and debugging options. So if we choose the application, it takes us back to the application homepage, where we can use this to drill into a lot of different areas, such as looking at the pages themselves, checking out the share components, exporting our application, and some other utilities and functions. So if we have a look at a particular page, such as the products report page, we can see that it's categorized into three main areas. On the left, there's the page rendering section. So this is all about how the page is built and constructed and then rendered by the browser. In the middle, we have the page processing section. So when you submit the page, it may need to do some validation or computation. Uh, you may have some standard processes that fire to update and, and remove records in the database. And on the far right, we have the share components. So any common components this page uses, such as list of values, navigation aids, or the templates this particular page utilizes. Across the top, we have what page we're currently looking at. We can use this to open up a list of values to take us to different pages in the application. We can use the next and previous page buttons here. After that, we have this tree and component view. The tree view was introduced in Apex 4. Previously, there was a component view, which I personally prefer to use, which lays the page details out in a slightly different manner and shows the same information, but in a different way. On the top right, we have a developer's toolbar where we can go and run the page. This cog here is a common link that I use to go into share components and some other icons that uh, may be useful, such as searching through your application, exporting the current page, and so on. We have a utilities menu, which allows us to do certain things for this particular page. Some of the cross-page utilities are quite handy. But I'll go into share components as another example. And from share components, we're able to manage areas of the application, not just individual pages. So the shared components are grouped into some logical areas, such as the application items and processes, navigation details, user interface, how the security works. So all this is packaged up in one area, which is nice and easy to access. And we also have from our application homepage the ability to export our application, which is good for backing up what you've done already or importing it allowing you to import it into a different workspace or different instance. We also have the ability to copy and delete applications from taskbar menu options on the side. Keep an eye out on the right hand side because often there's some tasks and help details here that you wouldn't normally see. So there's some key areas and concepts you need to be familiar with to improve your awareness of how the Apex product works. And this concludes our section on getting you started with Application Express. Next section we'll look at enhancing your themes and templates.